I had visited her the day before. She seemed fine. I went back in the next day. She was completely bruised through her chest, the back of her arms, her back. Nobody was watching my mom. Nobody was really tending to her. They were just pushing her in a hallway or leaving her in her room to eat alone. The government website shows this is the best of the best facilities. And so does the facilities website shows it's the best of the best facilities. And they are proudly displaying their five-star rating. It's the industry that's being protected, not the patient who's in there. My mother's name was Essie May Chandler. She lived with me and my wife and her family for six years. She enjoyed kids. She loved her grandkids. It was like five in the morning, my wife heard a thump and we went in there and she had fell to the floor. Ken Chandler's 90-year-old mother had broken her femur. After a successful surgery, the family had one day to find a rehab facility for her recovery, close to their Sacramento home. They chose Rosewood. When you walk in, there was a big billboard and it has orange stars on it and it's um, listing why it was five stars. On Medicare's Nursing Home Compare website, Rosewood received five stars, the highest rating awarded. The Chandlers had no idea that despite Rosewood's top ratings, it was the subject of 100 complaints filed to the state of California since 2009. Advocacy groups say the number's closer to 160, double the state's average. They're not putting state violations on the federal website. So it really doesn't give an accurate picture because they don't have all the data. Carol Herman has been an advocate for the elderly for over 30 years. I went in and here's Rosewood Post-Acute. So the overall rating is a five star. The health inspections was average. Of the three factors that determine an overall rating, only the health inspections are conducted independently. The other statistics, staffing and quality measures, are self-reported by the nursing home. These self-reported statistics can boost a three-star rating into a five-star rating overall. The federal agency that runs Medicare came up with this five-star rating system as a consumer tool. It was a great idea. Leslie Clement is representing the Chandlers in a lawsuit against Rosewood and its operating company, North American Healthcare. The problem is, you know, it's garbage in, garbage out. So whatever they're telling the feds, the feds are not, the federal government isn't going in and double checking that their numbers are accurate. Dr. Patrick Conway, who helps to oversee the Nursing Home Compare website, says the star ratings have successfully motivated facilities to improve their care. What kind of reassurance can you give to families um, that, that they can be comfortable with the accuracy of, of these ratings? Yeah, so I, I think for families selecting a, a nursing home for their loved one, I'd say a few things. I think, one, I think the five-star ratings are a starting point. Um, uh, but then I, uh, I would highly encourage the family or caregiver to visit the home, to uh, visit it multiple times, uh, to really get a sense of the home and its culture. You don't have a lot of time to go out and check out these facilities. How are you supposed to know? If you get any notice, maybe it's a day. I think the government website as it's currently operated is very dangerous because people rely upon it. And right now there are people looking at the website and making a choice. These are the Rosewood post-acute complaints in this file. Carol here. Herman's advocacy group has helped families file complaints about Rosewood to the state. Elder abuse, insufficient staffing, falls with injury, broken hip, bed alarms not working, failure to treat, failure to chart, again insufficient staffing, delay in sending the patient to an acute hospital, insufficient hydration which can cause death, and I believe in this case the woman died. It happened on the 14th of February and uh, the nurse practitioner called us and told us everything was fine, that she had a fall and I said out of bed and she said no, she was eating dinner in her room and the nurse came back in the room and found her lying on the floor. I go, why is she in her room eating alone again? And she couldn't, she couldn't explain why. She goes, I, I don't know. 
me and Leslie looked at the records and she actually started on Levaquin the, the night she fell when they left her in the room by herself eating. What were you thinking? This is the hallway where Essie resided. This is the nurse's station, that's the med cart. So in addition to this pattern of falls, they weren't toileting her and they weren't bathing her. And when you look at the record, she goes 10 days or more without a shower. She has repeated urinary tract infections, plus she's getting all these psychotropic drugs on top of it. Every case comes down to understaffing. Nobody is looking at her as a human being and what her needs are. North American Healthcare, which operates Rosewood and 34 additional facilities, disputes the claims in the Chandler's lawsuit and denies any false reporting of staffing levels. The company's CEO declined to appear on camera, but in a statement defended the company's dedication to quality care. It's not a natural way to die, so they... They, they just didn't do their job, and I'm sorry. I, I mean, I'm not trying to blame it on the staff, but I do think whoever owns these places, it's their responsibility to make sure there's enough staff to take care of these elderly people. Dr. Conway hopes to improve Medicare's oversight of staffing levels. We're working on a system right now to actually bring in payroll data uh, reliably across 15,000 plus nursing homes. We also want to make sure that we don't have people that are, for example, over-reporting or self-reporting uh, in a way that's inaccurate. During her six months at Rosewood, Essie Chandler suffered 11 falls. The final fall resulted in two broken legs. She returned home 40 pounds lighter with her legs bound in braces. She died six months later at home with her family. People always have guilt after caregiving. And you always think you could have done more. But this is torture. Like I said, you'll never forgive yourself.